Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Lindsay and I am currently 34 weeks pregnant with a baby boy. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button down below before you leave and give this video a thumbs up, but I have so much to update you guys on and the big updates will be at the end, so stay tuned for that. But um, like I said, please subscribe before you leave and let's get straight on into my pregnancy update. So for my symptoms this week, I've had a lot of back pain and Braxton Hicks, like last week, they haven't really changed or eased up. It's just gotten worse, which is obviously to be expected. It's just gonna get worse from here. Yeah, I've had a lot of heartburn. I finally did get my prescription refilled, so thank goodness because now I have <laughs> medication for my heartburn because it has been so bad. So I'm very, very grateful for that. I have had a ton, like I cannot iterate enough, a ton of Braxton Hicks this week. They haven't been uncomfortable but my stomach has gotten super super tight a few times. I do feel like he's super low in my pelvis, like super super low. I've had a lot a lot of pressure, a lot of like um I don't know if it's lightning crotch or like what but he is like down in there and it hurts sometimes like when I get up from the ground sometimes like if I'm playing with Maddie I um definitely hurt so that's great <laughs> I've had a really sensitive stomach still this week like I said I don't know why that is I don't know if maybe I just have gotten unlucky and gotten some food poisoning or things like that but I've been trying to continue to eat pretty blandly and um help my sensitive stomach and try to heal it I don't I've never felt this way in pregnancy like just I can eat things it's not like I'm having food aversions it's just like I can't my stomach hurts hurt just hurts from different things I am getting pretty tired with everything I'm tired all day long and I just think it's because I'm not sleeping super well I have been pretty anxious this week about like his delivery if it's gonna go like Maddie's and I will go into more of why I'm anxious at the end that's part of like my extras of this week um, because there's a few reasons why I am more anxious this week I've had a lot of dry and itchy skin just because he's getting bigger and stretching my skin out and it's getting itchy and dry so I've been using lots of extra lotion lots of extra oil to um, try to counteract the dry and itchy skin and try to make myself a little more comfortable. I've had a lot of vivid dreams this week and I have had a lot of nesting urges, cleaning, organizing, going through his clothes. I haven't like washed any of his clothes yet or taken the tags off, but I have organized it by size. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. I don't think I'm gonna wash everything like right now like I did with Maddie when I was pregnant with Maddie I washed all of her clothes and then organized them like every single size I don't think I'll do that this time I think I just will wash like newborn in zero to three because I know that's what he'll be using in the next like month or like his first month of night life not the next month or so hopefully so I feel like he has dropped a lot more this week obviously with being having a lot more pelvic pressure I feel like he has dropped a ton going into my cravings I feel it I crave everything bubbly like or anything bubbly like drink wise probably because I have had a little sensitive stomach this week just the bubbles help me feel a little better I have been craving Taco Bell tacos randomly again I actually have not been craving hammers like the last two weeks which if you know this pregnancy you know that's crazy but I've been craving tacos and like Mexican food Taco Bell things like that and cake pops I don't know why, but cake pops. Okay, and this is the update you guys have all been waiting for. Um, so I had an ultrasound like, I think it was like two weeks ago. I don't know, like a week and a half, two weeks ago. And um, the ultrasound tech said that his stomach was measuring in the 93rd percentile, which isn't bad, but obviously that is very large. And she did note that his head position was very down in my pelvis so they couldn't measure it very well um so they're requesting another ultrasound i have to get another one because they're worried he is getting too big or he will be too big at birth to not have a c-section i am that's why i've been really anxious this week is i'm worried about his delivery i'm worried if he, i don't i really don't want to have a c-section if i don't have to i'm not dissing anyone for having a c-section if you want to or you had to I 
think that's awesome if you wanted it or if it was emergency i would be totally fine with having like an emergency c-section or if it was medically necessary to keep me and the baby safe but i would rather not have a c-section if i can avoid it because i know what to expect with a vaginal delivery and like the recovery process of a vaginal delivery it's just easier for me to process because i do know what i've gone through already and I know it would be different, but I know kind of the gist of what would be going down. But because he is measuring so big, like I said, we're going to need to go in for another ultrasound. And depending on the results of that ultrasound, I might have to be induced at 38 or 39 weeks, um, depending on how big he is. I've been pretty anxious. <laughs> And it's just, um, not that I was expecting to go to 40 weeks or anything, but with Maddie, I delivered her at 39 and six, and um, I was induced at 39 and five. So it's like, I almost made it to 40 weeks. I would have made it to 40 weeks if I hadn't gotten induced. So I was kind of expecting to go further along. It's like, you obviously hear 40 weeks is pre like how long a pregnancy is, but having it cut short is um, kinda, freaking me out like the possibility of having to have him two weeks early and I know he could come two to three weeks early anyway on his own but it just I don't know I just didn't expect that and that's in like three to four weeks that's like three and a half weeks is like from when I'm filming this <laughs> that I could have him and um I'm just nervous <laughs> so I've been pretty anxious this week and overthinking everything and um so I'll show you guys my belly because that's all I have to update you guys on. I will update on the ultrasound. I don't even have it scheduled yet. Like I just had my appointment yesterday and today's a Saturday. So they're not going to schedule me to at least Monday. The last time that I had to get an ultrasound, they waited till Friday of the next week. So I got had my appointment on a Friday and then they waited till the next Friday to schedule me for an ultrasound. Like to schedule the ultrasound and then my ultrasound was in two weeks from then so i'll i'll let you guys know when that happens i am thinking it's probably going to be more urgent just so that they know when to schedule an induction if they need to but i don't i don't know so i'll keep you guys updated with that so i will show you guys my belly and then i'll finish this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video um yeah i hope if you guys are <laughs> religious or anything, or please send me good vibes, keep me in your prayers, because I just um, am very, very anxious and nervous, and I, I don't, I know that everything happens for a reason, and everything happens how it's supposed to, but it's just, I don't know, it's just hard not knowing what's going to happen, so, yeah. Whew. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.